Hi everybody, it's Julie and I am going to do a video tutorial today. I need to make some memory decks cards for a swap. But what I wanted to show you first was some of the the cards that I've made so far this week. So um, here I have a Happy Father's Day card, memory decks card, and I this was a scrap and so I cut a uh, memory decks out and then I I have a stack of them over here that um, as I'm trying to make some of the scraps go away I'm just going ahead and cutting out some memory decks and having them ready so then this is the the little shirt that I made and I'll put the tutorial for that down below I added a happy Father's Day card from when I had the flower shop the hammer is a sticker from a sticker sheet that I had, and the spatula is from the new, um, I just got the die cut set from Spellbinders that is the KitchenAid mixer and, and a bowl and a whisk and a spatula. And then I added, these are actually paper cutouts, but I thought they looked like tires. I mean, I, I cut a cert, I, I fussy cut these circles out of this paper, and they look like tires. And then I added these little tiny buttons that I got in a swap. And so that is my Father's Day memory decks card that I made. And then I made this one that said Rise and Shine. I, I needed to make, um, I was making a gift and a card for a friend that um, likes roosters. So I have the sticker sheet out. So. I added this and the rise and shine and this sun I got in a swap of die cuts. These are the little fluffy flowers that I make out of book paper. And then there's a little chick and a fence from one of those sticker sheets. So these are from sticker sheets. I have hundreds of these sticker sheets and so just trying to use them up. This week I did a loaded envelope bag and um, I made this um, memory decks card and this was my um, it was I put it on my desk and this was my theme for the loaded mem loaded envelope so I could look at this and tell which color center was supposed to be in the flower and and then I kept this for myself so this um, unicorn actually came off straws that I got at Target and um, I think there was like 20 of them or 24 or something like that in the bag and um, maybe 18 I don't know but anyway so that is my unicorn one and then I will write the information on the back of of what I did and um, there you go so I'm in a swap this week where we had to use the colors of this pink, sunny yellow, and sun orange. And so this is the, the card that I made, one of the cards I made for that. And here's one of the pencils, and I'll put the tutorial for that down below. And this is a pencil that I make out of a toothpick. And you know, it is that time of year, teacher gifts and things like this. This is um, a fancy uh, string from, it's called Funky Fibers. So it came um, came like that. So, and um, the heart is one of those. When I cut about four hundred hearts, I thought my um, blade was going on my Cricut, and I thought, well, I'll just use it up. <laughs> it just kept working and working and working, and so I have a whole bunch of these hearts. And then this is from an index card that um, I actually had used the memory decks punch so this is the memory decks punch and had punched in the bottom and I knew where those yellow cards were so I just went and grabbed one of those um, so that's what that is and I put it on there so that it's lifted a little bit I've added some of the little yellow flowers with the little orange bling inside this is a paper clip that I made and um, and actually this was three 
flowers that were broken that I put together. And then this create, this is really kind of cool. This I got at Dollar Tree and they're push pins. And I thought, well, I'll just cut the pin off. Well, actually these are stickers on top. So you just have to peel the sticker out and then you still have the push pin. You could actually cut out a little tiny picture and put a picture in there or something. And I may do that later, but right now I use the create in the paper clip there. So, um, yeah, I don't normally use anything the way it originally is supposed to be used. So here's another one. Okay, so the colors are also this craft or paper bag was one of the colors and then the yellow and the pink. So I've got you just a pink doily. Oh, my phone is, or my computer is talking to me. That's strange. Oh, it heard the colors. It pulled up the colors on my computer. Okay, yeah. So this is a sun. Again, this is from the, one of those sticker sheets that I have hundreds of. I cut out um, with my die cut the flamingo. And then I cut out another one and cut out just his wings so that that was lifted up. Because when it was just flat on there, it was really getting lost. I sharpied the beak and the foot. This is um, a piece of the paper pad um, that I cut out. Um, oh, nope, I don't have it. I put it away. So this was a scrap after I made my tropical file folder. And then the Hello Sunshine is washi tape. And I just put it on a piece of white paper and I um, cut around it to, and then lifted it just a little. These flowers, it, it's a flower bouquet that I bought at Dollar Tree for a dollar. <laughs> and... Um, and then that gave me several flowers and two different, um, it has the one with the two color, the variegated one, and then the regular one. And then this is a Brad, and I have this on my table because I want to use this up, and so I finally used one. And then the paper bag on this one is um, some shred. So I took the shred, and I rolled it and then glued it to the brad so it's glued in there. So that is my Hello Sunshine. And then we are going to go ahead and we are going to make one similar to this one using the doily, the wreath that is a Spellbinders um, and that you get two of these. You get this one and you get one that's a little bit bigger. I love this. <coughs> it's one of my favorite dies. And this is what it looks like when it's cut out. So I have it ready to make this. Um, I've used some of the little yellow flowers, the little green bling, some of the flowers from that bush. This is the shred rolled up and then rolled around itself with three little beads glued inside. I have the little beer, the little bird and I just washed it in antique linen um, to get it to look like the paper bag color. Then I've used some orange washi tape and this washi tape on top of it. And so I just, I think that this is adorable. So we have the little nest, the little bird. Oh, there's another little bird sitting inside the nest as well. So we're going to be making that one today. And, um, yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so one of the things, other things I wanted to show you, um, I am all about recycling. So I have these stickers that I'm going to use today hopefully and they came out of this packaging and this was paper bag color so I cut I cut that out now I will also cut this out and um, I may cut something something out of this as well so but that 
<laughs> that's what I, I like to do. Okay, so I wanted to, okay, so this is the punch, and it is a Heidi Swap, and I know that they're, they've been clearanced at um, Michael's and Joann's, and people are still finding them randomly at their Michael's and Joann's, but you would probably, I would probably try shopping online, or try the Heidi Swap. Um, I'm a member of the Heidi Swap Facebook group. And you can actually ask questions in there, and her um, her customer service people will answer. So, so this is the punch, and that with this you're able to punch anything. So, if I wanted to turn this into a memory dex, I could just put it in there and punch it, and boom, it's a memory dex. Um, these come. I don't know which two come with which, but you get two in each. Um, thing I my I love them all actually I I use them all this one um, like with this it was the only one of the four that would fit on there but I have taken and um, put this one on things and then just put it even though that this wasn't gonna cut I still was able to use it because it was out and the punch maybe wasn't. So, um, again, I really am enjoying making the memory decks. They're helping me keep my scraps um, a whole a lot less. I have a lot less scraps. Um, and so, I also have been cutting um, with, my, with the memory decks. Okay, so I have I have a whole bunch of these, like hundreds, hundreds of these. So to package my memory decks, when I'm sending them to people, I'm going ahead and I'm cutting out using the, um, the memory decks. I'll cut these out, and then I can encase the gift that is going along with two new memory decks and so um and it's these are a good weight and i've always i wondered what i was going to do with them this one it's actually longer and i've already cut out atcs to um to use in a swap okay so one other thing we just to remind you here's some other packaging and i'm going to be able to cut the coffee cup and this and probably even the word stone maybe the word sticker and um, be able to use those and these are the, the those little tiny um, bling stickers that I use all the time from my dollar 49 cent store so okay I think that's all the weird little things I wanted to show you <laughs> weird and so let's go ahead and um, We'll start, we're gonna make the bird. So I'm gonna put him right there. I'm gonna use a different memory dex. And this was actual cardboard that came as the backing of, I think it was a shirt. And um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. I am gonna be using my Aileen's Tacky Glue. And I'm just going to dive right in. We're going to start with the doily. I've put some of... Now this one we know... I know what I'm going to use. But... Um, and then I go on the doilies. I go around the outside just a little. So, um, so I've pulled out some things that are the colors. I had a whole bunch of yellow things. And then when I started to actually make... Um, to make the cards, I realized, and I looked at the picture, my yellow was too bright. So, um, so my stash here of things to use for this swap, because the swap is sun yellow, sun orange, and paper bag. So those are the colors that I'm able to use on this particular memory decks. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm 
I'm going to just add glue around this. Okay. And I'm going to glue that on. And I want these up top this time because I like that section. I want those to show. Now this time I'm not going to put the scallop in the center. But I am going to use this washi tape. Okay. And this came, oh my gosh, Michael's had this last year, like last summer, and I ended up getting it. It was $7.99, and I ended up getting it for $0.80 cents for this package. And so, you know, if you shop in Michael's enough, and you see that something has gone away, or something was a holiday, even their Create It line, and it was a holiday item, and... Um, if you watch and and then you all of a sudden you find something that they they're not carrying in the store anymore go check the price checker cuz i've gotten things for 15 cents and 30 cents i got where is it oh they're not up here but that little bottle of the gold fla uh, flowers sequins 15 cents and um, and I, I mean, I use it all the time. I love it. Okay, so we're, I'm just putting down the washi. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and we're going to make the nest. So what I did was I took the shred. I took a few pieces of it. I was going to just roll it around and that was not working. So let's take... I think four is enough. So we'll take four pieces of shred and I'm going to go ahead and roll it like this. And now I'm going to go around my finger and then I'm just going to pretend like I'm tying it in a knot. So I'm going to pull. And remember we had four, so you want to pull. There's three. Where's number four? I don't know where it is. I lost number four. Oh well. So you're going to go around and you're going to just pull pull them through. And because you're making a nest, this works because you're going around in a circle. So. Okay. And then I punch. Oh, let's go around. That one needs to go one more time. Then I punched it, punched it, okay, yeah, okay, so I'm just kind of pinching it, not punching, pinching, and get it kind of to look like a natural, like a nest, because that's what we want it to look like. Okay, and then I put a pretty generous amount of glue because I want it to grab as many of the papers as it can. Okay, and then hold it down a little. And it's okay if your center is a little messy because you're going to add those, those beads into the center. Now I've already... I don't have any more orange beads of the large ones, but I have pink. So I'm going to go ahead and are they the large ones or medium? Those are pretty big. Okay, so what I have is I got this package of beads and they came in a box like this from my dollar, I call it the dollar 49 cent store and it's the medium size. So there's one there's two I wish 
I wish I'd had more orange, but there we go. There's three. So we've just added some pearls to our little nest. And then I have this box and I'm trying to just start using all of my stuff as much as possible. So down here I have, there's the big bird, big bird, and a little bird. I've even saved some green from when I cut out a tree and that was in between, but it looks, it makes really great grass. So, okay, and now I have my Distress Ink and this is Antique Linen and I'm, I want, Oh, that's not the littlest bird. I need the smaller bird. Sorry. Baby, baby, baby bird. There we go. Oh, no. Ah, there. Baby bird. And these birds I got at Michael's a while back. Um... I have two Michael stores that are almost exactly the same distance from my house. Um, just under a half an hour. And that's why you hear me mostly have Michael's. Then we have one Joann's. Um, but it gets picked over pretty fast. And... I never seem to, or not never, but a lot of times I don't catch the stuff on sale at Joann's. Um, okay, so we'll go ahead and we're going to add him. And then at the end, I'm going to put glitter on him. Now, um, so I'm just going to use, if I was, <laughs> I've got to figure out a way to get a glue gun in my office because... There we go. I'm just going to add him there. And add the little bird at the side of the, the nest. Like he's already hatched. His brothers and sisters haven't hatched yet. Okay, so now we're going to want three of the variegated so there's one two and you see how many flowers you get for a dollar um, so this is this is a great way to look for your to look for your flowers and then we want the medium color from out of these and I got these a few years ago and I got them on clearance and I wish I'd have known how much I was going to love them because they are awesome. We need four of these, I'm going to call them butter yellow color. Two, three, four. Okay. But I've had them for years, so yeah. What would I have done with the backup? <laughs> it's like if you if you hoard like that, you can never get new stuff. Where would you put it? I mean, I you can even imagine what my crafting stuff looks like. I've got so much stuff, but I had I mean over thirty years of collecting. This is what I what I do. I've crafted forever, and um, that is where I I would spend my my money. <laughs> okay, now these ones, um, the only thing about them, it they're they, it's a little harder for them to to um, set, so you have to make sure that you. Um, that you pay attention to them and that you get in there and 
so I'm putting that you get in there and continue to uh, make sure the flower see how it's moving make sure that the flower is sticking to the glue until it's until it's on there so I'm adding just a little bit of glue in the center of each flower and I'm putting my um, tacky glue over here I have an old jar and yes the glue comes out but oh my gosh instead of shaking it my elbow and my arm was actually hurting and I couldn't figure out why and my husband goes one day he was in here watching me and he goes you know maybe that's what's doing it he was watching me shake the glue okay so I want these ones and then this, this is the bling that I got I got this at Michael's it came in a square um, acetate box and it was full $9.99 it has all these amazing colors look at that and um, I got it with a coupon I think I got a 60% off coupon even and I use this a lot and I bought it knowing that these graduation albums I have coming up I needed the bright colors but that you know finding out that there's a yellow in there there's a blue then there's a lot of opalescent um, colors too so I want the just straight I'm gonna call it uh, magenta I'll turn them over by the end of the day I end up with <laughs> a bunch of these on my on my desk They were just easier to pick up that would be great okay so then I use the back of the skewer to set it and it's going to help the flower also because now we've got a little bit of weight and a little bit of extra there is a hole in this flower so that it the glue is going through and helping to set it there also um oh I see we missed one Okay, so I have this little tiny sheet of the orange bling. And I get this bling at my dollar, I call it the dollar 49 cent store. It's one of those generic 99 cent stores, started out 99 cents, but they have all kinds of things at all different prices. And now the majority of their craft stuff is $1.49. Okay. So there we have the bird one. And like I said, I didn't put the scallop in this time. But that has one finished. Um... Now I have the one that I got that's made out of the packaging. Okay. And so I'm going to use this sun. This came from one of those hundreds of sticker sheets that I have. Again, remember, I've collected for 30 years. And I actually had somebody um, contact me and give me a bunch of stuff because she knew that I um, I I would teach people I like to teach people so and she she needed it gone so this is that sticker sticker sheet it's doodads again this came from uh, it was a gift also I'm just gonna add these flowers here these are really cool they're like acetate and they have the bling already on them Okay. 
and these I'll be able to use in the the other one that I'm going <laughs> to the other the tropical things that I'm going to be making later today okay so I want to use that hello sunshine there it is And it's going to just barely fit. It's okay. Go ahead, put it on here. If you've seen when I'm, when I know I have a project coming up, um, and I'm like, I'm I'm looking for something. I was going trying to find something for the graduation and I found this scrap. And so I put it in with these colors because it was the orange. Okay, and now since this has already popped up, I'm gonna go ahead and use pop pop-ups on this. I don't know if you can hear that, but they're roofing the house next door. So it, I was going to say it must be eight o'clock <laughs> and it's like three minutes after eight and the, the nailing has begun. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to take, these are um, double sided. So I just, I added three of the squares to it. go and I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a bling 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 just seems like it it needs something I don't know if this will do it but there you go so this is the um, it's sticky back it looks like bling. It's actually empty faceted holes. And you get these in a roll at Michael's. And um, you will see me use them all the time. They are a dollar. And they come in a bunch of different colors. And I really like them. So this is my sunshine one. And, oh, I forgot it. We're going to go ahead and just have those go because they are sticky and that finishes that off there we go so that has two and so we need one more I think we'll use this one these were I cut these out of cards <laughs> Because they were the only thing I had that was the sunny yellow. And I liked them because they were textured. But, um, yeah, like I said, the, the yellow that I had was too bright. And um, so I wanted to use this heart. Anyway, uh, these were from the cards that you get. Like 40, 60, 80 of them. They're hot buys. And you get them at Michael's. And sometimes Joann's will have hot buy cards. And... They'll be like, excuse me, $5 this week, or they had them for $5.99, um, but I have plenty. But I found some in that that stash. So I want to go ahead, and I'm, I'm going to go with this similar idea, but I don't have another pencil um, made up, so I'm going to do something different. And uh, I have kind of a little bit of an idea, but... We'll see how it all comes together. So here we have the heart. And then I did want to use this. So I'm what I did was I took the piece that I had. I knew I needed to make two cards and I and I um, cut it in half. 
So I want it to tie at the edge of this heart. So I'm just going to go and go around and around and then come back. And tie it and there was not going to be a, and the bow didn't look like a bow when I tied a bow so I'm just going to tie it double tie it into a knot okay so and I'll leave that for right now and see if I need if I want to leave the strings or not so there we have that and then I had cut this out because to get a, a word that was orange and it's from a Project Life card, and I just ripped it. And so when you're ripping, you want to um, hold tight with the inside of the side. Like, this has white inside, so I want my rip to be white um, on the right side. So I'm going to use my right thumb and finger to tear. And I'm going to hold with my left hand. Okay? So if I wanted to do it the other way, I would actually, how would I do it? Um, I would, you have to start it with your fingernails. I would hold it with my right hand and tear it with my left. Or if you're left-handed, this is how you would do it. Okay? So... That is how I do that, and I knew I wanted to use that. And then I needed some paper bag, so I thought I would use this. And, boy, it just barely fits. I mean, it is, wow. Wow. It is so close. Okay, so this is uh, from Paper Shapers. And that is like really thick cardstock, almost cardboard. And it's from Stampin' Up. Okay. Scallop. Love it. Love it, love it. Don't know if they still have it. Okay, so, and I've cut this from packaging. Okay, so that gives me my paper bag color, and so we'll go ahead and glue those on, and that reminds me, if I said glue, I'm going to go over here real quick and check on the bird and the flowers, and I'm going to make sure that those are staying down. Oh, this is the first one. <laughs> Those are staying down. Those are from yesterday. Okay. Okay. So there's that. Now we'll go ahead and put this one on. Okay. I have this sticker. It was uh, gifted to me in a swap. I don't think so. Okay. I think we'll just add the little yellow flowers. So I'm going to go here, here, and here. So three. Oh, I should have got the flowers out. There's one, there's two, there's three. Okay, put centers. Oh, I just thought of something I wanted to do. Does that ever happen to you? I'm going to move that because I have somewhere the pink bling there it is 
and I wanted to put that across the bottom. <clears throat> so watching the clock, I, I got to wait for the post office to open because I have some stuff to mail off and then I get to go blow up balloons. Okay, so we're going to need to add, it's trying to stick, but it's not sticking. I'm going to add a little bit of glue in there, or a lot. <coughs> a little orange bling. Where did you go? There it is. Okay. So I do, even though these have sticky on them, I usually always glue them down also because um, in the heat, they, they will sweat and fall off of things and I don't want them to fall off. Okay. So... this over in my pile on the side. Okay. It needs something. But I don't know what. I do have these cool puffy heart stickers that I got at also at Michael's. Oh, there we go. Let's do that. Um, I'm going to put three of them. So this will be the dot, dot, dot. That's kind of my signature, dot, 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 you know, and then some more, better. So we'll do the dot, dot, dot using the hearts. So I'm going to be posting this video on Monday. Hopefully the people will, that are receiving these will have received them by then. But on Mondays, I'm going to be posting the video with um, the memory, my memory decks that I've made during the week, and maybe a tutorial. And so this one is Memory Decks Monday. And oh, I like that. So there we have it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you get an idea. Um, of things that you could make and if you like this video like it please and of course if you have any comments or questions put them down below find something to celebrate every day unicorn and don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day. Bye-bye.